guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial but this time we are going to update our android studio to the latest version which is android studio 2.2 so here is the android studio right now i have the 2.1.3 uh, you may guys probably have seen my last video updating the android studio to this version so this time we are just going to update into the latest version that's came out two days ago so anyway we have the update notification here for the android studio and along with that we have the sdk update so maybe in the cases that you may have seen you may haven't seen this updates suppose you haven't seen this update then you have just go you have the option to go to the configure from there you can check for the updates so just click on the check for update and you may probably see that and it's automatically downloading all the files so guys what actually happened here is that we have a plugin just downloaded this window so it is a patch sizes which is uh, 195 megabytes and we have the newer version 2.2.0 and the build, build version is given here the current version is also given here with some other new functions and facilities are available in this version so without any further ado let's go and update this so click on the update and restart and now it's downloading the batch file so in my case it's may take a little while because i'm running with a slow internet connection so i'm skipping the setup so case okay, now it's validating the installation file that it just had downloaded right now so as you can see after the all other works are completed we have the option to recover our old configuration or you can go with the latest configuration that the android studio 2.2 uh, already have so you can choose the first one and this is the better better if you are doing the current work in the android studio so anyway if you are new to the android studio then you probably have to go with the third option now click the ok button so guys we have our android studio 2.2 on the screen let's create a new project so let's begin here only some of the files that I need uh, you may probably have seen haven't seen this anyway let's keep that and here is the normal screen as we have seen in the previous versions and here is the new option that included C++ support in our projects so if you know C++ programming then you can check it and see the changes if you don't then uncheck it let's go next next and here is the activity same as before we have uh, all of our activities that i feel like there is no any new options at uh, as an activity maybe they updated the existing activity so let's go and create a basic or empty project next and the generate later file so let's click finish and some of the things that i have noticed in the project building and uh, this kind of, this, that kind of activity is that they simply added some more new features to make the programming more funnier and more easier for the beginners so anyway now it's building the project we just have to wait a couple of seconds and here is the android studio 2.2 workspace i'm just maximizing this and here is a bug report just skip that it's that normal and now my project is processing we just have to wait a couple of seconds so guys here is the android studio as we have seen in the previous version i don't feel any changes here let's go to the activity main.xml and here is all the changes they have totally changed the layer of the android studio here the parity is here as as previous and just below that we have the component a symbol box here uh, and as always here is the properties and the project file selector here so let's wait for the preview version so guys here is the new layout design for our Android application let's make it a little more bigger one and when I clicked here is all the changes hello world here is a text view 
and when I click the here, here you can see all the properties of this text view up here it, we can even change the text view from here itself without simply right clicking on it or going to the text so what I have actually found is that we had we just how to improve our PC performance to work perfectly with the new Android Studio and let's go and check this out guys here is the what we say this is the some more technical version of the preview here is the normal preview let's go with the two you can switch between the previews here simply just going to here so now I have the multiple previews anyway let's go and check it out guys so I would say that I would suggest you guys that going with a little more larger screen for doing this work in the latest Android Studio version because you need some more large space doing these things so in my case I just want to uh, step up into my larger screen wide screen monitor so anyway here is the text view let's simply add uh, something just before that just go to the text and here is that and we can switch between the two here itself so all the things are looking pretty awesome uh, mainly I have seen this is the main changes that I have seen here and uh, according to the android.com they had added some other gradual build updates and many other things we don't want to take care of that anyway let's move gaze this so let's zoom it in let's drag it into the center but where is the center yeah here it is so text text appearance and the text size everything is here awesome it's look pretty decent manner and we have the option to do everything without even how to code these things so the beginners to the Android Studio how they don't have to waste their time doing all these things. Let's go to the font family and here is the normal fonts that previously have. Like all the things, they were really good. So check this out guys. I hope you have got the idea about the new Android Studio. So thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day guys. Peace out.